Where's my balls at? How does bro have a shaft, but no balls? Well, the balls were taken by Granny, and Granny is back, and she's kind of like Dimple. Or, I guess, uh, Grim from Seventh Prince, if you've seen it recently. Basically, super strong villain guy gets domesticated and is now a cute mascot. I think we can get along with Turbo Granny. There's a new pink hair girl. I think she's going to be very important. She a bitch. She sucks. And I love how Momo stood up for Okarun. And Momo and Okarun's... Their relationship, the chemistry is just fucking peak, dude. It is fire. I love how it's just no bullshit. Just let's just talk. Let's just communicate with our feelings and it all gets addressed. Wonder what we're going to do today. Let's begin today's reaction. She left the balls in the street somewhere. She lost her the balls. The balls are golden balls. Golden Tama? Okay. <laughs> Golden 5 centimeter diameter ball. <laughs> wait, wait. Momo should be able to use her Esper power to detect, like, you know, traces of that aura around, right? How she was always sensing, you know, Okarun, like, Turbo Granny in Okarun, right? Oh no. Yeah, they are. That's a crazy angle as you talk about balls, but then again, you're a girl cat right now, right? wonder if that's what the aliens also want, you know, bananas, reproductive organs, spirits and yokai monsters are drawn to stuff like that because pee is stored in the ball. Sorry, energy. What is that? Dragon Ball, bro? They're trying to take our balls. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cute. This is hilarious. Like, we're just ganging up on this fucking plushy cat. What you gonna do about it? Ball and tell, baby. Wait, what? Yeah, dude, I love it so much. Oh, なあ、しがなんかにフォース。まあ、もうどんけるばちゃ。ずっと仲良くなりたいって思ってたんだよね。やささん。こんなことなかった。初めて友達ができて嬉しくて。ダン。ブロウはそうデスパフォーアフレ
What's up, Mr. Cat? <laughs> Baba Cat. Neko, Neko Baba. Neko Baba got bored. He got the granny permission. No. Get out of here. What? Imagine someone saw that conversation. Talking to like a plushy cat saying, give me my balls back. Imagine what people would think right now. They can see the cat, right? They can totally see the cat. Momo. <laughs> Baba Neko. Neko Baba. He's realizing that you're pretty. Alright, whatever. Bay. Bro, look at the amount of makeup products in the desk. He is a good guy. He proved himself in front of every one of these gals last episode, right? He was so like, he said all the nice things, like just so like boldly in front of all the girls. And I think like people might have think it was cringe, but like they thought like, oh man, he's the one. Oh, rumor. Rumor spread already. Hmm. Oh, sh demon. Oh, God, here's the pink haired demon again. Okay. I'm so hot. I even greet the local blockheads, bro. I'm not just pretty. I'm a humble queen. Hello, peasants. You are welcomed. You're lucky that I even graced the school halls today, block peasants. <laughs> By believing that a pretty girl likes them, they can live another day. She's an angel. She is straight up angel, bro. Wow. Thank you for giving us another reason for to live. Yeah, very kind girl. <laughs> it's on sight with Momo. Of course it was her. Oh my god, bro. This is a group chat with like 32 people in it, I think, man. Class 2D. The worst part is how she talks in such a cute way. Oh, I'm such a good girl. Oh. She's a bitch, what a slut, but my rumors aren't spreading. She's a demon. You're the fucking demon lady. Esper, hands? Oh, that's totally different. Beyond just the whole demon meme, like, yeah, okay, so she has the supernatural, like, awareness. Okay. She may have powers? I don't want someone like her having powers. It <laughs> Imagine what's gonna happen when someone like this that's already power tripping to another dimension gets some godlike powers. <laughs> that's the formula for disaster. Oh god, please. Yeah, you are. You actually are. I'm a chosen one. Why? Because I'm so pretty. <laughs> her basis of like why she's so perfect and like nothing goes wrong is because of her looks. That is like the foundation of everything that is meaningful towards her because she's pretty. Yeah, what? <laughs> why her? She has the golden balls. That's our balls, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Again, her reasoning, her 
her, her logic and reasoning is because I'm pretty, I have to do it, right? Oh, shit. That would be opening scene. That was a fucking great intro. And as much as, like, I'm shitting on this girl, this girl is great in terms of content. She is so beyond delusional. And yeah, she is objectively pretty. But to be having such a god complex because of your looks, and I guess you could, like, reason, like... You know, being good looking, that's all RNG at the end of the day. There's probably, you know, more bad looking people than good looking people. So you can rationalize that she is indeed the chosen one. And then if she can also have, you know, this like supernatural awareness, then that also, I guess, is pretty condemning. Why? Because she's pretty. The golden balls. Oh. A dangerous woman arrives is today's episode title. Oh no, she is a dangerous woman, isn't she? Ah, I see. The train. When we were, you know, on the train getting to the zone where our Baba is. And Turbo Baba lost the balls at that moment and fell on her. Dude, she is the chosen one. Can you assume that she got teabagged because her ball landed on her head? I don't know. Supernatural stuff? Did she awaken her powers at this moment when the golden ball teabagged her? It's looking like, I, I don't, maybe it's the other spirit shit, but like, maybe, she, did she always have it? Or was she awakened at this current moment? Yeah, this is the granny ashes, I know, but like, when did she get this like supernatural awareness? Always? Just now? It's funny to assume that the golden balls teabagged her and gave her the powers. That's funny to me. Dangerous woman. Oh. And she just caresses Okarin's balls all the time, bro. Just, just fucking doing tricks with it. Ida. Ida. Oh. She got her lackeys. Holy blessing banishment prayers. Occult stuff. Is she about to exercise the golden balls? <laughs> who asked? <laughs> yeah, even her classmates are like, who the fuck asked you to do this shit? The golden balls changed you. What? Okay. Is there? I can't see shit. Huh? Are we there? Can we see? Because to us, we can't see. But I don't know if she's being schizo and being chuny. Or it's actually there, and we can't see it visible from their perspective. It's funny to believe that she's being chuny right now to make an excuse. Red dress though, huh? You don't care about this shit at all. <laughs> the cra oh shit, the cat's watching. Yo, Nekubaba is watching right now in the corner, by the way. The craziest thing is that she doesn't discriminate. Like, these dudes are not conventionally attractive Ikemen. You would think that she would have, like, a priority of how much she would try to appeal to hot guys. But no. Nah. Every dude is the same. She will always just, like, put up this moe act in order to keep up appearances. That's, that's equality, I, I guess. <laughs> Yo, Nekubaba, what are you doing? We cannot do it after school. We're gonna do it after school. Okay. Yo, Nekubaba! <laughs> Nekubaba! So cute! So menacing! What are you doing? You, you saw the golden balls though, right? That's how short Nekubaba is. That's so cute. I can't look at you because you're so pretty. Oh! Nekubaba eats a hamburger! Oh no, this is too cute. <laughs> okay, you're a sociopath if you eat a hamburger like this. Who the fuck eats a hamburger like this? That's crazy. That's insane. That's like eating a Kit Kat. Not vertically, but fucking horizontally, bro. What the fuck? Is that yakisoba? It looks like a hamburger to me, bro. Vertical. That looks like a fucking hamburger. <laughs> Nekubaba. 
Yeah, now that you can see the other bottom part of the bread, it does look, it makes sense. He's eating a glizzy, basically. Japanese glizzy. I just lost the food. Yeah, she was doing surveillance, bro. Ida has it. Idi. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Nekumaba and Momo also, they're, 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 they're beefing as fucking hilarious. Goodbye. Yo, the yakisoba was in the ground. <laughs> you really just gonna pick it off the ground and start eating that shit? No sense for fucking hygiene here. There it is. I already unlocked the powers that way. Describe her, Baba. She's squeezing the balls like a fucking stress ball right now. Look at that shit. She's cradling it. You're gonna defeat him with the cross? The red's resting. What did you see? What did you actually see out there? Okay, so there really is, right? There it is. Okay, so like there is that thing there. So like it's probably like an enemy that's being drawn after, but it's not our familiar. <laughs> Backpack Baba. Shobu. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh wow, she even bowed. That's how desperate she is. Turbo Baba, look, she's in there. Yo, Neko Baba, say it, that she's the one. Yo, this is not gonna... If you get dragged out here in private, like some kind of crazy bullying setup's about to happen, did you really follow her all the way here? Oh god. We about to fight. With the cross? Oh, jumped! Oh, fuck. What is this cape? What are you role playing right now? Are you serious? Dollar story cross. Let's go! <laughs> That's like concrete steel, bro. That was not a soft landing. These girls are fucking dead. The balls. There's my balls. So, Okarun technically already teabags Airi. And now two girls are playing with Okarun's balls. And now we're pressing Okarun's balls on Momo's face. This is crazy. And my man hasn't even touched her. He's just so pure, he would never even think about it. But god damn. Oh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is really glazing Okuren's balls like so much. And, and then when she realizes that it's actually his balls, what's she gonna do? <laughs> Ooh. What the fuck? Like, she always was just camping Ida? Maybe it'd be very, like, iron like, um, poetic if because Ida is so good looking and she's so pretty that the supernatural occult, whatever thing is, yokai thing is, you know, attracted to Ida. Backstory? That kind of has Okara's haircut with the... I think that's even glasses right there, too. 
Bro, this just looks like Okarum, bro. <laughs> Mommy ghost? Yeah. Big ass woman. Oh. Ew. She's like dancing all around too. Oh. Oh, she swallowed us. Ten years. We're familiar. Okay, how are you gonna do a shift like that? Don't call me a moron, you retard! I'm your mommy! We did? So backstory like this actually happened? Okay. Mama. Oh! Mama! Oh! Hands so tied! I can see that. Your mama. Alliance? Sure. Hey, she got a phone. Who the hell's. Oh, that. Pilfered. <laughs> the room mama is just so cute and so resourceful. Just yoinked her friend's phone. Alright, do some research. <laughs> it's like a yokai Pokedex. Roki, no. Bro. Oh my god. So, like, Turbo Ball is like SSS tier yokai. This is like D tier, bro. It's not even notable. We need like a Pokedex to seek this out. <laughs> Swallowed. You are one. The delusion. <laughs> this is kind of like asking Skuna for help. But Skuna is not gonna help. He's gonna laugh at you and be like, <laughs> fucking idiot, I hope you die. <laughs> No. No. Gurgle? Name techniques? We got the psychic armor around us. That is crazy leg movement. Holy shit. Mama. We should just do it, why not? Oto-san? Bitch, you're like choking her! She's like being hung right now, can she even talk? And we're ate too! All three got eaten! You ate your baby. I think she just goes around. I think she has schizo fucking delusions and thinks that everyone's like her kid or something. He goes around saying, are you my are you, are you my kid? Are you my kid? Are you my kid? Yo, Baba. Neko Baba. Clutch for us, please. Boy. Oh. Nobody. Wait, maybe this is your kid. I don't know how granny could be your kid, but like maybe this could be your kid. A beckoning cat has the ability to beckon over some good fortune. Wait? Wait, cause this cat doll that we're in, it's the beckoning cat. 
So, Neko Baba right now has some new powers, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's why it was so oily. They kept saying, ew, it smells like oil and gas. So the fire, the hair, bro, the aura. Neko Baba doesn't have to do anything. She just stands there and the lucky buff, the passive, it'll just work out. This is, dude, Neko Baba might be one of my favorite characters right now. Like, not only cute, sassy, just so funny, but also these powers, hype. <laughs> Standing fucking one foot five, bro. Look at this fucking stand. <laughs> Because I'm here. <laughs> Some fucking all might shit from my hero academia. Don't worry, why? Because I am here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Next episode. Yep, I am sold. I think Nekubaba, like, even from like the ending, I thought that the cat was so cute and funny, but it's like, what's gonna actually happen? Yeah. Nekubaba might be my favorite character of this, this series. Like, not even, I'm not even like exaggerating. Like, Momo, Okarun, they're all great characters, but like, Nekubaba, <laughs> whenever she's in the scene, it's just so funny funny and cute and it can also be hype the lore is that a beckoning cat brings good fortune so you know whenever he's around something lucky's gonna happen this is so hype bro id i think ida i think ida is again just the biggest narcissist everything she thinks happens because she's pretty and she's the chosen one but i don't think she's necessarily evil i think that she's misguided and she's delusional but if we can kind of like convince her i don't know and talk to her maybe uh something good friendship can happen the golden balls it's funny that out uh, that <laughs> okara's golden balls is granting people power but also making them like a target ida has you know and momo they both have taken you know okara's balls to their faces multiple times i don't know how to feel about that okara is also so pure that he never even saw momo for her looks but just you know her personality because that's how much of a sweetheart he is and i think that there can be a good rivalry friendship happening between momo and ida it's just a very fun dynamic and i think the mvp goes to Nekobaba. Nekobaba is so peak. That's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And I'll tell you time. Take care.